folks, start with somebody like Mike Lindell come on the scene. Mike Lindell, the CEO of uh, MyPillow. And by the way, uh, Bannon, honestly, is a, an opportunistic infection as a human being. And he, I can't say this clearly enough, thinks Mike Lindell, Rudy Giuliani, and Trump are all full of shit. He just knows it's a useful, it's it, that... Even though they're full of shit, he believes he can use them as fertilizer for his movement, so he plays along. Uh, Mike, thank you very much for joining us. You know, uh, Joe Biden, and I realize that this is one of the things, and the focus is— By the way, what uh, what are you looking at, Mike? Why are you looking at me? Hi, Mike. What's going on, man? What's with the mustard walls all throughout your house? Is it, it doctor's orders? Of your life, that you're now part of this anti— is, is he always in a doctor's office? CCP crusade. You're, you're, you're like saying, hey— there's something wrong with November 3rd. Although President Trump is now in a firefight with Mitch McConnell about direction and control of the Republican Party, I've advocated on a speech I gave Saturday morning to a Lincoln uh, Day uh, pancake breakfast. Right. Yeah, you know, because that's where all the change in America happens. A Lincoln Day pancake breakfast? Right, uh, about President Trump uh, should, I think, immediately take charge of the 2022 campaign and basically become Speaker of the House after we have a sweeping victory, impeach Joe Biden immediately, and then... Okay, yeah, do that. Go for that. And after he's impeached in 100 days, uh, announce he's running, step down and announce he's running for president in 2024 to get fully engaged here. He's in this firefight with Mitch McConnell. Yes, please, D Trump. Um, I know you may not have attended the, the Lincoln pancake breakfast where Steve Bannon... Uh, cooked up this incredible plan for you to re-seize power. But for God's sake, man, please follow his lead and and take over. Become this. Please, Trump, become the Speaker of the House. And they're going, you know, the McConnell guys are getting a little nasty about this now, but exactly what kind of help President Trump gave him. Um, so, and I want to, there's breaking news, and Mike, with you, and that's why we wanted to have you on. This yeah, there's plenty. Of, uh, what's that breaking news? It's, is it, uh, you've broken new sales records for Mike Pillow. Morning, you know, at uh, ten o'clock today, Eastern Time, you're launching again the film in a number of different venues, plus including this one where you're paying us to play it. Plus, you're launching a a a, a version that's under thirty minutes long. Yeah, I think that's wise. <laughs> That's just the evidence. Yeah, just the just the without you in it. So tell us, you know, if the president's now fighting with McConnell, they're talking about the direction of 2022 and, mm -hmm. you know, and, tw and beyond and, you know, and fighting beyond. With the Senate candidates and, and President Trump is the leader of our movement. President Trump is going to give the direction of it. And as I've said, at the in the Boston Herald picked it up as their front page story. I'd like to get that back up into the live chat so we can see it that, you know, President Trump's going to win in 2024 if he puts his shoulder to the wheel. And, and he engages, he, he'll win. Particularly, By the way, there's money in this argument and Bannon knows Trump isn't running in 2024. He, Trump is a wreck already. He's going to be a fucking mess in 2023. I think as we saw from Biden's performance last night, we'll talk about the details. We're going to still be in the CCP virus up to uh, uh, Christmas of this year. No, he didn't say that. That he has no real plan to open the schools. It's all gobbledygook. Alfredo Ortiz will come in later to talk about that. But oh, Alfredo Ortiz, that's fantastic. Is Shrimp Alfredo going to be with him? Mike, tell folks, you won't give it up. You're still focused on the third. Yeah, you're not giving up on this thing or whatever, but you paid us to have you on the show today, and you're a little pissed, so uh, yap. Why is that? Why did you say, hey, we had the Senate trial. We've then, is it time? To, you're, you're the guy that's not moving on. And clearly every right. day, the Dominion guys, you're in, you're in this firefight with the Dominion guys. Why it's not a firefight. It's not a firefight. It's a lawsuit. He's in a lawsuit now. Why is Mike Lindell not moving on from November 3rd? In fact, you're tripling down today by putting out. And I, I did the three-hour special and said, hey, you prepared to put more evidence out? You go, absolutely. So today you're doing it. Talk about what's happening. No, he isn't. He's not putting out more evidence. He's cutting some of his yammering out and, and editing it further at 10 o'clock talk about thing and why are you is it just that you're so obstinate by the way look at look at bannon looking at this dude as he's having him as a guest he knows he's full of shit bannon is playing mike lindell mike lindell is paying to be there on the show this is this is like we you know it's lucky for us that we we have our sponsor with us this is uh the a ceo of the company he just happened to drop by to the show 
you're one of these guys that gets on something and just can't give it away. Is it, are you doing this for the? Yeah, you're like a you know you're like a a, a dog with a bone or a, a crack pipe. The country, I think, because you get so many fans in our in our live stream and on hashtag War and Pandemic, you, you're really people feel that you're a leader and, and feel that you're a patriot and you got the country's best interests. But why won't you just give it up? Why don't you just toss it in, go make some more pillows, and uh, you know, and come back in 2024? Which is Bannon's advice, by the way. Well, there would be no 2024 or 2022. Would you just everything you just said there about the plan of 2022 or 2024 makes no difference because huh? Dominion and Smartmatic and other countries will pick our, our politicians, and that's what happened. Uh, this year, that's what that's what happened uh, on November third. Uh, uh, foreign entities, including China, picked all of our politicians, and they all of them. They picked all of them. So all the Republicans that won their races, and the fact that the House tightened, and uh, the Republicans gained seats in the House, all of those people, anybody who's new, including Marjorie Taylor Greene, were picked by China. Thanks, Mike. And uh, they picked Biden, and. Uh, uh, and Marjorie Taylor Greene um, million, and Lauren Boebert, apparently. Millions of votes were flipped. Uh, my um, flipped. A special today that's coming out, um, it might be delayed a little bit. We have, Yeah, we, there's still some edits. We need to work on the music a little. And had, uh, problems with uh, power outages and uh, uh, my, where my uh, IT guy lives, they, uh, he doesn't have power. He's trying to. Let me guess, he lives in Texas? To do it, uh, he's trying to get it launched on uh, computers and cell phones with no Wi-Fi. So, but it'll, it'll be launched real close to 10. Yeah. Okay, good. All right. Well, I, I, I'm, cause I have plans at, uh, honest to God at 10 45, I gotta, I really gotta get some sleep cause I gotta get up early in the morning. You know, there's a lot to do. And, uh, the thing is, is this is going to be all just the facts. There's gonna <laughs> just yeah, as opposed to, um, what was the last round of things? What was the, sorry, one second. Um, just the facts, man. I mean, no experts in there. Now There's going to be what? 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 Wait, what? Uh, uh, foreign entities, including China, picked all of our politicians. There's going to be they, no what? And uh, they picked Biden. And uh, um, millions of votes were flipped. Uh, my um, the special today that's coming out, um, it might be delayed a little bit. We had right. uh, problems with uh, power outages. With Texas, and, uh, right. Poorly run uh, my, state. Where my guy. Uh, IT guy lives. They, uh, he doesn't have power. He's trying to do it. Uh, he's trying to get it launched on uh, computers and cell phones with no Wi-Fi. So, but Listen it'll, it'll be launched real close to ten. And uh, the thing is, is this is going to be all just the facts. There's going to be no experts in there. <laughs> okay. Um, there were no experts. To start with, so I, I mean, nothing because you don't need that. It doesn't matter where you. Got yeah, you don't need experts. Got the evidence from, but it doesn't matter where you got the evidence from, guys. It doesn't. It doesn't matter where it came from, or what form it's in. It's. But but hey, I just uh, slow, slow down for a second because we did this in three hour special. You're coming out with other versions of the two hour movie, and you're putting that out with influences. Yeah, have it. Sit. I want to walk through that, and you've got a don't get a little gravel. Thirty so minute just out. evidence. There couldn't be a bigger spread between the bid and the ask. Dominion saying absolutely consistently. Th yeah, this is the part where you're like, dude, um, I'm telling you. Hey, Mike Lindell may know a lot about pillows. He doesn't know anything about technology, computers, uh, internet, uh, voting machines, voting. He's a, you know, he's just he's he's not just wrong. He's he's talking out of his ass. Dead wrong, and he's I guess defaming us by saying this. And you're sitting there going, you uh, guess. It's a it's a two hundred page I think plus lawsuit. Uh, no, I've got the facts. I've got the evidence. I put that. So, so it's Ew. this golf. It's this golf. I've got the COVID. Golf. What are you doing today? Have you reached out to the Dominion guys to say let's sit down? Have you reached out to the Dominion guys to say hey I've got the evidence. I want you to prove me wrong. Yeah, yeah. Let's 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 do this in mediation. Uh, and why is this twenty eight minute or thirty minute version of evidence? When you say evidence. Is it hard evidence? Or no, it's the same shit that was in the other one. He's just cutting the people interviews and himself out of it, dummy. Or is it more assertions by smart people? But are you actually showing evidence? He's, he's showing paper somebody sold him. Well, there's... Uh, there's and a demo of software. That's two questions there. The first one is uh, Dominion and Smartmatic. But Dominion themselves, big article came out yesterday because uh, uh, actually one of... Uh, 
Mm-hmm. Uh, a friend I had that's a very left wing guy. He reached out to Dominion. Hey, are you going to sue Mike? He just, you know, and, uh-huh. uh, and they finally said, oh, yes, we're going to do it, which, oh, I hope they do. I can't tell you enough but because it they are make a, make it a lot easier because then they're going to have to disclose everything because it's just a fight. Even when you get. A- no, they don't. No, they don't. This is one of the dumbest parts of this whole thing. Can I can I explain to you guys something about a defamation lawsuit? is that if if you're suing somebody for calling you a slut and they use that term repeatedly and they diminish your uh you know uh your standing in the community and all these other things and the fact whether or not you've had sex with multiple people is immaterial in a defamation lawsuit it's the perception that they are trying to sell that you're a slut, not that you have, you're have polyamorous and you have multiple relationships with people. You have no responsibility to tell the court, I'm not a slut. I love these people. <laughs> it's simply that that is no one's business and uh, you, you don't get to ask me about my sex life. If you don't know about my sex life or you're presenting evidence, all I, get, all I have to do is refute openly your evidence, if there is any at all. The, there doesn't have to be discovery in those circumstances. And in the case of where someone is bad-mouthing you, like E. Jean Carroll doesn't have to like go into what her relationships were. There, if she told people contemporaneously, for example, that Trump sexually assaulted her and that she kept the dress from it, right? Um, because we live in a post-Clinton world, right? <laughs> if like she can be asked about those those parts of it, but they can't ask her what her relationships were because they're immaterial to whether or not he acted upon her or did something wrong to her and then lied about what he did. This look at it this way. Uh, Dominion is E. Jean Carroll and uh, Mike Lindell sexually assaulted them. The subpoena like Maricopa County in uh in Arizona, even with the subpoena, they're still not wanting to show a machine. But to answer the- Yeah, it's proprietary software. If they show it to you, they show it to Iran and North Korea and the Russians. You see how this works? The second part of your question, this evidence, okay, these are timestamps from inside the- Wait, He's talking about the, the final evidence given by his co-producer who refused to show up on camera spyware used by our government used by people that work in and out of the government that were there mostly out there on, uh, from november 1st to november 5th that they take these time stamps and use and they said look at all this activity in ser- in computer servers around the world when america is having one of the most crucial elections it's ever had during a pandemic when everyone is home constantly on their phone their ipad and watching the news on the net on on the net as opposed to watching it on cable you see the ip address you see the id of the computer yeah that's the by the way if you if you did get a chance to watch the entire breakdown i did his whole movie well, i'll do the little short half hour we'll go back through it but the end part where he's like it's got the ip address that they used to attack it turns out to be the ip address of alibaba and huawei's offices because that's because china when they're attacking american elections just isn't smart enough to use a vpn or an or an out of the country site. I mean, Russia obviously has its Macedonian hacker farms, but China never even thought about that. Where the attack came from, uh, the exact moment in time, which computer over here got hacked, the exact computer, or were they let in? Or were they let in? And and every time votes are added, it doesn't matter whether or not they're hacked. So they, they had that little why where the success, what, like was it a successful break in or was it not? Even where it's not, the votes continue to go up because they're just tracking the counting of the votes and saying this correlates to this. This is a correlation uh, co- proves causation argument. It's silly. And you see the IP address. These are things that are used in court, in court, if anybody looks at it. And these are actually, not, uh-huh. I want to say, these aren't the actual prints. These are uh, taking the data off what comes out of the computer. You and I would have a hard time reading all the computer talk. But it, the computer talk. This prints it onto these uh, sheets. That's very easy for anybody who did the attack, who, which computer, and so on. One of the- so Alibaba attacked a local Georgia election um, board. One of the things I want to tell everybody, because I've gotten thousands of emails from the from the um, um, absolute proof 
uh, the last third of it is where this big evidence is. And, uh huh. And one because why would why would you why wouldn't you lead with it if you, that was your big hitter? If you're just about the truth and not just putting it up on sites that have advertising in them, why would you wait till the end? One of the biggest questions is why would the lead in happen? It's not like you explained all the others. Like you have to know this, 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 and this to understand this. It's not, it's not a chain of evidence leading to an accumulation of, see, this is why it all worked together. Literally, his big drop is, we were attacked literally by China using the servers of Alibaba, Huawei, and, uh, and other like e-commerce sites within China, because those are the ones you can look up online and just cut and paste them into your stupid document. Not, you know, not government sites, not um, servers that bounced from China. And we know that the tracking because we saw a ping at the exact same millisecond that the ping in South American server bounced and all that bullshit. These literally are just ones you can get if you go to Alibaba.com or, or uh, what is it, DL Gate or any of the Chinese commerce sites. Oh, God. We, I mean, we went through this nonsense. Um, well, how do we know this is real, that you didn't just make it up? Well, yeah, um, I've uh, I've seen it with my own eyes. That's A. Uh, you wouldn't see the evidence you made up? Uh, uh, what? What are you talking about? If you commit a fraud, you see the fraud. How, how is this? Uh, there's three people... Um, that are that are all involved and uh, and they um, they're ready to come forward when it would you get to a court or something. Yeah, not now or something like that. But most a court or something like that. Most importantly, just yesterday we had a group. The last two weeks or since since February fifth have went around and validated the IP addresses and the IDs of those computers. Yeah. You can get you can get them online easily. That's why that's why it's ridiculous, because if the IP addresses were easy to find in China, for example, then they're not actual IP addresses from a military grade attack on the American elections. What kind of moron is the Chinese government if they use the Huawei and Al it's like it's like if America decided to attack, uh, you know, Russian elections, and we used Amazon and Apple.com to do it. I want to say that again. We validated. What so nobody could find out it originated in America. But here's the spyware, the ID of the computers. And, and uh, you know, let's say this one's in Fulton County clerk's office or whatever. Boom, there it is. Yeah, it's listed online. You can find it. Wow, you check it. What? It's not It's not the computer inside the office, dickhead. What? They match. And, uh, and thank you, you, William. That. Then you also what they match. We have done this both in Maricopa County, that open case up there in Antrim. And uh, we uh -huh. have compared what votes were flipped there because we actually, uh, you know, they actually are in ongoing cases. Both of them are ongoing cases. What votes were flipped there? And does it match this this evidence over here? And guess what? <laughs> Identical. Well, yeah. Because you created the evidence, dummy. Because these people knew you would buy this shit, so they sold it to you. You were, This asshole was literally shopping for evidence. And so what they did was, let's uh, create a document for him. It works. Uh, we'll, we'll need some Chinese IP addresses. Just go online, look up big companies. Huawei, Alibaba, anything you can find. Like a real Chinese company that's got their headquarters in Beijing. Yeah, just find the name of it. And we associate those with the government anyway, so they won't know any different. And then go online to the Maricopa County Board of Elections or the uh, Antrim County Board of Elections. Go in there and then whatever the IP address shows up for the computer when you look in the details on their webpage, just grab that real quick. And then we'll just cut and paste those in. And then we'll backdate it to the time and run a simulation piece of software and then print it out, which is what he did. We watched it happen. Identical. Okay. Identical. It's amazing how uh, we can recreate the crime after the fact. Okay, I just want to. I want to go back for people that have seen absolute proof. If you haven't, you. you I've seen it. I watched the whole thing. Definitely ought to see it. Yeah. I like. He's paying for this spot. The three-hour version where I, we break the film apart and I push back. I want to be specific. In the part, you break it apart and you push back. Yeah, he did this. And look, Steve. That's what I'm telling you. Steve Bannon did the same shit I did. He watched the whole thing and was like, wait a second. 
with, uh, I think it was Dennis Montgomery and Mary Fanning at the end of the film where you have this big... Where she won't show up on camera. ...reveal. You, you put up two pieces of evidence. I, I thought they were quite confusing, and I said... Uh-huh. The, the per, first off, the computer chart she had that had all this about where it actually came from, and I said, hey, are you prepared to put out more? I take it what you're saying today, specifically about these IP addresses, because I said, hey, could you have independent people kind of verify that? You're saying now that that first piece of evidence they put up, this is what you're providing more about exactly IP addresses, and you can a actually have people ascertain that this really came from either Antrim or, or other places, that, and you can match it to that? Right, right. We have There's a strip of those, and it's not necessarily the two people you just mentioned. I have, just so you know, I'm not relying on one source. I've, uh, I've got four people. Uh, there's three different sources. All with okay. They all work together. Okay. Same had the same access. I just want to make the they all have the same access. There's three people in the same office. Okay. That clear. We're not. There's multiple sources. And when and yes, these things go on and on. There's over two thousand pages. I'm not going to show them all on on TV. Yeah. And no, you or post them or anything so people can look during this thirty minutes. Yeah. But you could just take any line, any line. Uh, let's say it's a. Uh, 11 uh, 11 3 at 10 06 a.m you see the timestamp. Okay. you go over you see who attacked you see the ip address yeah. yeah and we know how it works that's not what he's asking you he's saying have you gotten people outside of your groups to go and look at each of these ip addresses and go these are real and you couldn't just look them up on the internet and pit and and like basically patch them into an Excel document to, you know, to create a like nine or 10 hours worth of busy work to sell you on this idea so that you would give them a million dollars. The idea of the computer, you could drive right down in your car, Steve, and go in there. If you and I knew how to get the ID off that computer and go, what, how would they what? have known that? Because it's on the p website. Thousands of computers yeah. if this wasn't real. Yeah. That's it. Okay. I just want to say, you know, there are a lot of um, news sites uh -huh. that are very, I don't say supportive, but are very obviously think the world of you and, and, and try to report this even handily as you get attacked all over. Even some of the sites have come out and questioned either the motives or some of the information was put in the section. I just uh -huh. want to make sure we're clear. This th oh, we're clear. 30 minute new film you're coming out with called The Evidence is just the same shit we saw cut down right that evidence yep. is to back up certain assertions no it isn't that's not what he said and you know it that were in the original movie that you think give more depth and more clarity to some of the assertions that were made and this is now backed up by people that were not originally the film but other people correct that's correct, and I want to say one thing too. Cool, we'll look at Another, it. These answer. It's going to answer a lot of questions and people that didn't Great. get through that last third of the film. What? Why would they not get through the last third? In for a penny, in for a pound. Who watches the first two thirds of it and goes, ugh? Um, oh, I'm uh, sorry, everyone. But one of the things I want to again, why didn't you lead with your biggest evidence? Say is in the beginning of this, with just the evidence. I want to say all these. Um, I do put up the charts of the organic cheating, the dead people, the people, the miners, the people that didn't live yep. in the state. Those came from Secretary of State's offices. Their numbers that were given to by the state. I went back and double checked. We, we broke this down too. Check them. So these are all numbers that were given by the state. So you can say, well, what'd you make up these numbers? No, those numbers were not made up. Yeah, just the correlation was made up. Here's a list of people who have died in St. Louis in the last 300 years. Here's other people who have the same names as them who are alive now. Right? See where this goes? And uh, it just validates a lot of things there. So if you have any doubt in your mind that, that this is real. And I want to tell everybody, I, I have better things to do. And I'm 100% no, you don't. all in. This is about our country. It, Bannon's laughing at you. I have better things to do. Clearly not. This is about our country. This is about our future. Honestly, God, like, Bannon just laughed in his face. Future. This is about 2022, if it even will happen. If it even will happen, time's going to stop. 2024, if we got to <laughs> get rid of the machines, all of them. Smartmatic, Dominion, it, it can't happen. And 
Um, why don't you bring up ESNS? Because the only evidence that you presented in the beginning, in the first third, which you don't seem to be talking about, is the fact that your primary IT expert went to Austin and went to federal authorities about the amount of uh, of chicanery going on in the election machines in Texas, which are all ESNS and heart machines, of which you know Trump in a state Trump won. And he's like, Dominion, pff, that's nothing. You should look at the ESNS machines. They're used in way more places. Trump won, what, 80% of the counties that, that had Dominion machines? And this is going to show you all that. But that's how they get you. Okay, Mike, we're going to take a short commercial break. We're going to return in a... In <sighs> that's not disgusting or anything. Jesus. Yeah, let's jump ahead. Doing an ad. Here we go. Oh, they brought... Okay. Um, let me explain. Belied the nice guy exterior. Betrayed the idea of, you know, the affable. And he was affable. Many times last night he was affable. We'll yep. get into that later on. Yeah. But there were many there were many moments scattered within where you saw this pernicious yep. anti-American Joe Biden. Yep. <laughs> the pernicious anti-American Joe Biden that was at the town hall. Probably when he was talking to the little girl. That's what they mean. And this was the cherry on that cake. I want to go, by the way, the... The cherry on that cake. Do we do I have to like create a book of like colloquialisms and analogies for the right the film is absolute proof. He's now put it another I, ironically named 30 minutes evidence. He's also going to put it out through influences all today. How do people first, Mike, before we talk about China, how do people get access to what you're putting up right now? Understanding you've got some power problems out in the in the Midwest and down in Texas and places where, where how, how do people go see what I really wanted to see is your 30 minute. Jesus Christ. Mike Lindell went to the same charm school as Carter Page. Uh, film today on your new evidence that you're prepared to back up. Right. Well, as soon as it's up, it should be. I just checked with them on break there. It'll be LindellTV.com. LindellTV.com. Nice. If you want got his own network now. I watch it right now. We do have it up on michaeljlindell.com, but that part How many copies of your name do you have to have, dude? Once you share it, that's going to, you know, that'll be that'll be hit right away. We put a lot of safeguards on and when we get the lindelltv.com up that they're not going to be able to to attack what do you that mean? What do you down, mean? By the way, everybody in the audience, where everybody in the audience, obviously stay here, but to go, you've got obviously. to go see <laughs> lindelltv.com when it's up the 30 minute film. Yeah. Or Michael J. Lind He's paying for us to say that, so you got to go there. Lindell.com to say, when you say hit, what do you mean by hit? Because you got these influencers, this old whack a mole thing. What do you say hit? Who's hitting you? Well, all the social media, the, the bad social media sites like Twitter. And it'll be Twitter, Facebook. It's going to be up in chunks on his Telegram. Um, I'm sure they're going to, when they get win, <coughs> they'll put. That's great. Hey, Jesus Christ. I, should I be wearing a mask while this interview happens? Up partially false information or false information or contains nudity. I mean, these are all. What? Wait a minute. Hold on. You might have sold me. What is this? Is he going to tube in us? Wait, contains nudity? What do you, what new evidence do you have? What happened? What? Community what? sites like Twitter. Thanks, Marcia. It'll be Twitter, <laughs> Facebook. Um, I'm sure they're going to, when they get win, <clears throat> they'll put up partially false information or false information or contains nudity. I mean, these are all things that Facebook does, but. <laughs> did, it, did we miss? Wait, did we miss the nudity in the first version? <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you what is does he just like lose his shit in the middle of the new one and go absolute proof son of a bitch you goddamn right I'll show you absolute proof <laughs> it's like he's like he has like a Lyndon Johnson moment you want to see absolute proof <laughs> you get to YouTube what <laughs> this is is this video for children or not for, not for children as this video contained any nudity, hmm. and, uh, Jeffrey Tubin does make a quick appearance. You know, these places, as soon as the computer catches that it's uh, any of this evidence against uh, Dominion or Smartmatic or these machines, bam, they're going to take it down. But we put stuff. Well, yeah, because they're going to get sued, too. In place, 
where it's going to pop back up. And we've got these. We really went to a it's <laughs> very elaborate. Oh, it's it's fine that it stays up. I mean, th this is just going to help with the lawsuit. And it's like fighting back and going, sorry, our voices are going to be heard. Y oh, and our penises are going to be shown. I wanna, what? I want a quick. What is the, I, the voice isn't the problem. It's the nudity that concerns me. Before I forget. Please tell me Steve Bannon isn't in this because I, I, I mean. I'm just afraid that if I have if I throw up and have dysentery at the same time, it would be, not be good for my for my digestive tract.